Okay, I'm trying something wildly innovative. I invented it. I just thought it up. So I went to the fridge and looked for some leftovers and uh, noticed a container that had some of what I'm using for the sauce for this pasta. This is bucatini. Bucatini, the word for a uh, hole in Italian is buco. So buc bucatini is little holes and it's a basically a spaghetti noodle extruded uh, with, a, with a machine over some very thin brass rods and uh, apparently Sorella here in Newport has one of those machines they make their own bucatini there I've yet to see it want to see it I've messaged the owner uh, I can't re remember his name sorry uh, but um, so I, I get store-bought bucatini. It's it's good, and um, so I thought, well, I'm gonna make a pasta sauce out of this leftover stuff in the container in the fridge. And aren't you just dying to know? But first, I want to taste it before I tell you. And I'm gonna add a little more. This is pecorino romano, as opposed to I don't know parmesan or something. And I put a ton of, of this cheese into the sauce and uh, mixed it in very thoroughly because pecorino tends to clump and that's okay I mean I like chewy little balls of cheese especially if it's pecorino romano but you want a homogenized kind of creamy introduction to the to the sauce medium you don't really want those those balls but uh, but they're good so here goes so I watched uh, pasta gra grannies I subscribed to pasta grannies and this old lady, she says, I know they say you don't supposed to use a spoon, but I like it, so I use. <laughs> she talks just like our grandmother. And I do too, we grew up using a spoon to twirl. And who's to say, I mean, big deal, no judgment, man. Eat, eat your food the way you want. I remember going to a, a Thai restaurant in Ashland one time, and I asked for chopsticks, because I love to eat with chopsticks, and the dominant culture person to be politically correct corrected me and said okay I'll bring them but you know the Thai they don't eat with chopsticks and I thought that's kind of judgmental because what if I'd been adopted by a Chinese couple you know as a child and that's all we ate and that so I, I eat salad I, I'll eat anything with chopsticks takes me a while to eat soup though go figure so here we go, moment of truth, twirling. I should twirl with chopsticks, really. I'm gonna be right back. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Dude, if I set this in front of you and didn't tell you what the sauce is, you'd be all like, wow, that's great sauce. How'd you make that? And I would say, it's clam chowder. True story, made from my razor clams the other day. You notice some carrots in there, and there's some potato. Well, gnocchi is an Italian dish made with potatoes. Why not put some carrots in there? What else is in there? Uh, I sauteed onions, there's a little garlic. I added more garlic, I dumped this into um, olive oil and, and more garlic. Holy crap, dude. Mm. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. You know that hook? Well, this is off that. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, and there's bacon in here too, right? Oh, God. All right, no more eating in front of you. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I think I'm gonna trim my beard today. I'm done with my statement. <laughs> I haven't grown a beard in so many years, and the last time I did it, it came out a different color. Ciao, tutti a tavola mangiare.